Hello, my name is Mrs Sloan and I'm Head of Performing Arts at Colonel Frank Seeley Academy. Today we're going to look at BTEC Performing Arts. So BTEC Performing Arts is a level two qualification, which is equivalent to a GCSE. We love performing arts. When we talk about performing arts at Colonel Frank Seeley, we are looking at it from an actor's perspective, but it can also include elements of dance and music as well. And performing arts, very much like drama at Key Stage 3, is all about being creative, about working with other people, about self-expression and about being able to explore the world around us and society and people in society. This course is fantastic for developing your self-confidence and your teamwork skills and lots of the skills that we create, uh, develop and create in drama are transferable to your other GCSE subjects as well. So things like teamwork, a lot of the work, in fact, most of the work in performing arts is going to be teamwork, group work, devising scripted work in groups with other people. So that's a real key aspect. You need to be able to work with other people. Verbal and written communication skills that we will develop are transferable to all of your other GCSEs. So being able to describe how you're going to create a certain character or show that they are feeling certain emotions and being able to write that down as well. And um, problem solving and time management all of these things are going to come in handy when you're working in a group and you're working to a deadline to get a script created and finished and filmed. Um, research skills. So when you're working on a script or you're devising your own piece of drama, you're going to need to be able to research about your character, about the time they're living in, the social context and things like that. People management. So if you're going for a directional role and you're directing other people, that's really key, especially if when you're devising, you're creating certain scenes. What we tend to do is have one person directing a scene for the other actors and then switch around. That's really important. Being motivated and committed. Performing arts, much like music and drama, is a subject where you are going to need to come in and do extra rehearsals at lunchtime, perhaps after school when it gets near to the exam time. So you've really got to have that motivation and commitment. And these are great things that can transfer into all of your other GCSE subjects and the ability to work independently as well, because as well as all the group work that happens when you're writing down and doing your write ups and your evaluations, that's real sort of independent work that's going to need you to have that self motivation to complete that. So what we study, the course is split into three main areas. We have component one, the study of practitioners and performance styles, where we look at three different shows and um, how they were created, how they were put together. So in the past, we've looked at things like The Lion King, Blood Brothers, Mamma Mia, The Woman in Black, um, to name a few. Component two is where we study and perform a set text. So we usually do something called Teachers by John Godber, where you work in a group of three um, you choose two extracts that you want to perform and we develop these in year 11. And component three is devising from a stimulus. So this is where you work in a group to devise your own piece of drama, create your own piece of drama from a stimulus that the exam board gives us. The so lessons are split into practical and theory. Most of the lessons are practical and we spend those developing our drama skills. Um, so either through the scripted performance that we do or the devised drama. Theory lessons tend to be evaluating our work, developing characters and also researching practitioners and famous shows like the ones that I spoke about before. Now, the different thing about performing arts is that it's a BTEC, so you will be assessed um, throughout the course it's all coursework really um, so component one that we do in year 10 is where you're going to explore three different productions and you create a presentation which you then do to the class about those three productions component two which we do in year 11 is the scripted performance 
Again, that's internally assessed. So myself and Miss Curtis will assess that and then we will send off a sample um, of that coursework that you've done over the two years. Component three is the final exam and this is the responding to a brief devised performance where you're working in a group, you're given a stimulus by the exam board and you create um, sort of a, a 10 minute piece of drama around that stimulus. You also do three one hour written exams for that component and they're typed exams so they're in the computer room and it's typing up notes about your rehearsals, about your character, how your group have responded to the stimulus and an evaluation of your final performance. What future careers can performing arts lead to? Well, the obvious one is um, an actor or perhaps a dancer, but actually lots of different jobs within the creative industries would see performing arts as something um, that would be great for those transferable skills. So whether it's something like costume design, a choreographer, stage manager, or actually something outside of what we might think about the performing arts industry. So perhaps something like a wedding planner or a teacher. Um, all of those skills that we're gonna develop over the two years will be seen by any employer um, or any university as fantastic transferable skills for somebody to have. If you have any other questions, uh, please come and see myself or Miss Curtis in the department or feel free to drop me an email. OK, thank you.